up? It's your girl, Megan. Today's video is going to be about a really creepy experience I had with a Ouija board. This happened back in high school. My friends and I, we were having a sleepover. We had a Ouija board from Kmart and it was one of those really cheap Ouija boards that basically just has the letters and the numbers. And for you guys who don't know what a Ouija board is, it's basically a device that's used to contact the other side or what we would call the spiritual realm. And it's used to talk to spirits and undead things that passed over to that realm. It's a board that has A through Z on it, and then it has numbers 1 through 9. And then there's a talisman, and it guides them to say each letter and each number. So basically, we went down into my basement. My friend, we were call her Rebecca. She was the one who was using the Ouija board, and she was moving the talisman. We were the ones asking her questions and she was the one feeling her hand move based on the spirits and what was pushing her hand. And if you guys have ever done this, the Ouija board actually really does move your hand. It's not the person in charge of it who's moving their hand. They will actually feel and be guided by something and it will move their hands. We're just asking it kind of dumb questions at first. It wasn't really giving us any significant answers. Basically, I asked the Ouija board, who are we going to marry? And I started off asking it about myself. Kind of get this party started. So I said, who am I going to end up marrying? And Rebecca has the talisman and she starts feeling the Ouija board like really strong this time. Her hand got a little bit yanked and I was like, whoa, okay. And what happened is she started to be guided to the K, the Y, the L, and the E, Kyle. And at the time there was only one Kyle in our high school who kind of all of us knew. We weren't like close, close with this kid. We knew who he was and we were like friends with him. So we knew that the Ouija board was talking about him. We had a suspicion. So I'm like, oh wow, okay. And then I asked the Ouija board for clarification. I asked the Ouija board, when am I gonna marry Kyle? And her number goes to one and then it spells out M-O. I'm thinking like, okay, it means one month. I'm kind of just like, what the hell? Because I didn't have a crush on Kyle or anything like that. I didn't really know who he was. So I was just like, okay, and we move on. All of my friends are still at, at my house. It's about six in the morning. My alarm system goes off in my house, basically a motion sensor, motion detector. This time, it started going off extremely loudly before my parents had woken up. And I just thought it was a little bit weird. Not usually get tripped by anything. Go to school and we're just hanging out in school. And I start feeling like just an uneasy feeling. I'm just not feeling like my best that day. I go to my locker. This purple origami heart falls out of my locker. It literally falls out and it falls on the ground. And I pick it up and I open it. And what it says on the inside, hey, Megan, you look so pretty today and then there's a dash and then there's a k and i'm freaking out a little bit because i don't i don't like that one was putting a note in my locker so i'm kind of like what the heck so it was obviously it was a note from a secret admirer i didn't really know who it was i'm i wasn't thinking about our experience last night at all so i just like put the note back in my locker and i'm just like okay whatever maybe it's just like a friend of mine whatever so I'm at my house, I had gone to bed, and it was about 3 in the morning. I woke up to an actual shriek. My house is a brand new house. I've never had an issue with thinking that our house was haunted. I freaked out. I ran into my parents' bedroom, and I was like, Mom, like, I just heard that. Did you hear that? And she's like, yeah, I heard it. She didn't really know what to do. And so I went back to bed and I was kind of just, I couldn't sleep that night. I went to school. At school, I started to run into Kyle. We were always just bumping into each other. I would leave class and he somehow was outside of the door of my classroom. Always the Kyle kid was like walking behind me or just like walking near me. So a few days go by. I'm sleeping in my house and I have a really big wooden baseball bat under my bed because I'm just like freaked out and I'm not about to deal with anything in my house and my mom asked me she goes what did you guys do at the sleepover and I said well we just played games and we played with this Ouija board and she goes you had a Ouija board in this house and I was like yeah like what do you mean it's just like a little like and she's like I know what it is 
and she's like you need to get rid of that as soon as possible and i look at her like you need to calm down she goes this is why we're hearing all these weird noises in the house you let a demon into the house and i'm like looking at my mom like and then i get a call from a restricted number on my cell phone and i answer it and there's a voice on the other end and it's a weird weird voice it's no one that i know ever that i've ever heard talk like this it's almost like a grumbling and then heavy breathing and i immediately hang up the phone i think it was only on for like 20 seconds and i throw the phone back into my bag my bag and i'm just like uh not gonna deal with that right now and i go back to my locker and when I open my locker, 10 origami hearts fall off the top of my locker and they just fall onto me. And I'm like, what even? And I'm kind of just like not excited. Like, and my friend's standing next to me and she goes, what are those? And I'm like, like, I don't know. I think like someone's like putting this stuff in my locker, like stalking me. So I go to open one of them and on it, it says, I love you. And it doesn't say it in English though, it says it in Spanish. And I'm like, what the, like, I don't understand like why it all said, I love you on it. Cause I, I'm like going to open it. And I'm like, I'm really freaked out at this time guys. Like origami hearts and they're all saying, I love you. And they're all saying it in Spanish. I go back to my house. We're still hearing weird creaks and weird noises in my house. I'm begging my friend, I'm literally begging my friend at this point, just throw the Ouija board out. Like you can buy a new one at Kmart, like just throw it out, please. And she's not budging. And I start getting this call from another random number. And I answer the call, more breathing and just like more like, <sighs> and then just like a groan, like a, <sighs> just like, sketch at, the, at this point i just wanted nothing to do with it i have a room that is two stories above the ground and i have a huge glass window outside looking the backyard and i'm sleeping saturday night all of a sudden i hear a knock on my window and it's not the type of knock that's like from a tree branch or something like that it's a literal like like knock, like something knocked on my window. So I get up and I scream. And I open the blinds to my window and I see pasted onto my window is another origami heart. And it's literally stuck onto the outside of my window. Like it's literally taped onto the outside of my window. And I am screaming at this point. I run into my mom's room. I'm like, someone just knocked on my window and I'm screaming like and she she wakes up and so we rush downstairs we rush outside at this point it's like springtime it's not like the warmest outside but we're like running out in our bathrobes and we go and we look at the outer side of the house like we really should call the police basically i just sleep in my parents room 3 a.m on the dot i hear a loud thump outside of my window i go up and i look outside of my window and there's someone outside of my window that was outside of my window it was a figure and i saw it for about point half of a second ran away ran into the woods by my house and i don't even scream because i think i'm too terrified to scream and i grab my phone and i go outside because I just kind of wanted to see like who it was even though I was terrified. I try to go in the direction in which this figure went and I hear my phone ringing. I go and I answer my phone and I put the phone into my head and I'm like not answering. I just kind of like click, click on and I hear on the phone, I hear <laughs> Megan, will you be my bride? And it's a man's voice and I knew whose voice it was. It was Kyle's voice. Because, like I said, I kind of knew him enough to know his voice and things like that. But I didn't, like, know him well enough for him, for him to be outside my freaking house, right? So, I click the phone off and I run back inside. And she calls the police immediately. They show up about 10 minutes later to my house. And they ask me a bunch of questions. And they ask to see my phone. They say, we have to take this back to the police department. We can do like a call tracing ID on this and we can figure out who it is that um, was outside your house and maybe figure out who has been calling you 
and we're going to, you know, get to the bottom of this and help you. Um, so I'm at my house and I get a knock on my door and I go to the door and it's the police. And they go, we have investigated this and we know who has been calling your phone. And they tell me the name and it was Kyle. I don't know this person like at all. I've never even invited them to my house. I, I've never even really hung out with them. I can't believe they've been harassing me and stalking me and threatening me like this. And they basically tell me that I can file harassment and stalking charges against him. So I think back at that point, I think back to the sleepover and I think back to the Ouija board and I think back to what it said about who I would marry. And I went back to school and I never saw Kyle again. Apparently he dropped out of school and this makes absolutely no sense because we were about to graduate like in a month but apparently he just stopped going to school and I never saw him again. And all the noises in my house, they just stopped. Um, and that was it. I told my friend the entire story and to this day, she does not believe me. And I don't fuck with Ouija boards anymore. It's kind of like one of those warnings to you guys that the spiritual realm, not stuff to mess with. I don't know what happened to this boy, but I do think he was possessed in a way that was making him fall in love with me basically and become obsessed with me and stalk me and come to my house and call me a bunch of times. I'm just happy that I'm okay and I'm happy that it didn't get to the point where anything violent. Oh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this story and I hope that you guys um, were entertained by it and I hope that you got something from it. Um, I will be posting more story times to this channel, so if you guys want to subscribe, you want to like, um, please smash those buttons down below and leave a comment about what you thought about my story. And um, if you guys have had any other similar experiences with Ouija boards, stuff like that, I am loving to hear it, so um, shoot me a comment. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and stay safe. Bye.